All right, first things first. Uh, hi, Tim. Hi, Akiko. Uh, sorry I didn't greet you in my last video. I was too busy apologizing. Sorry about that. Now I'm apologizing again. Anyway, um, I may run a slightly bit long because I've got something I, I really, you know, want some feedback on. Uh, and uh, as I mentioned, I'm working with my Kamal. Uh, and I'm really enjoying that, but I also, you know, want to get one of my own games out there, get my own revenue stream going, um, and I kind of have a choice of, of, of what to focus on. Um, and the first is uh, Planitia, and if you don't know what Planitia is, uh, I'll put a link to the most recent uh, trailer for it in the description, but it's basically Populous Reimagined, if you remember Populous. Uh, it's a fast-playing RTS game with god powers. Um, and I've been wanting to make it for years because I want to play it. Uh, so, you know, it's a game I really want to make. But um, I've been thinking about what the uh, return on investment might be on that. You know, I've been doing market research. Uh, again, shout out to Ryan Clark. Uh, we've all watched that video at this point, and it's a really good one. And even though we've lost Steam Spy, you know, you can still do market research, and, and I have. Um, and uh, my market research turned up a game called Tooth and Tail. Uh, and Tooth and Tail is an amazing game. It's an indie RTS. Uh, it's, uh, got, it's playable with uh, PC and mouse or controller. It has full Steam support. The production values are very high. It's got great pixel art. It's got great splash art. The music is amazing. Uh, and the little critters inside the game actually speak a language that they made up for the game. It has a constructed language. Um, so, you know, the production values for, for the game are just through the roof, and it's really fun. Um, now, I don't think it's perfect, but I don't think its problems are what limiting or are, are, are limiting its sales and its sales are pretty limited it's sold about a hundred thousand copies so far which you know if I actually made a game that sold a hundred thousand copies I would be ecstatic but if that is the upper bound for indie RTS I don't know if Planitia is going to get there or anywhere close because my game isn't going to be nearly as polished as as tooth and tail <sighs> so the other alternative is I had an idea for a very kind of mobile-centric game. Not necessarily a mobile game, just a game that could be put on mobile, uh, but could also be really fun on PC. It's just a, a time waster. You know, uh, I had an idea. Uh, it would be pretty easy to make, um, and uh, I could probably knock it out in three months or so, whereas Planitia would probably take six months minimum. Um, so, do I make the game I really want to make, or do I make the game that I think might have a better return on investment? That's that's what I'm that's what I'm really debating right now. So, you know, any input would be great. Um, oh, and don't worry, it's not going to be microtransactions or anything like that. If I do release it as a mobile game, it'll be you know, with ads and pay a single time fee to get rid of the ads. That would be it. Um, so, sorry to make this one all about me, uh, but I just would like some, some feedback from you guys whose opinions I really respect. Uh, so thanks. See you later.